After a while, that caught up to me real bad, and it got real bad real quick. I just got everything I wanted, and like no one ever told me no. Like that sounds great, but it's not. It's, there's a fine line with drugs and alcohol. You can enjoy it, or it's gonna kill you. You know what I'm saying? That was a clip of cast member Brandon Thomas Lee on the reboot of MTV's legendary show, The Hills, The Hills New Beginnings. And the show's newest resident heartthrob is here live to break down all the drama and what to expect for the rest of the season. Brandon, welcome to ET Live. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm thankful to, to be here. Thank you for having me, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Reality star, the MTV world's loving you. How's life treating you now that you are uh, infamous on The Hills? <laughs> infamous. Um... It's nice. It's different. I never thought I would do anything like this. Um, and I, I never thought that people would know so much about my life. I thought that I would always kind of be very low key and very private as I had just had growing up. But I was at a point in my life where I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready to show kind of the world what I have going on and how hard I've been working and, and, and my life moving forward. Right, right. Well, we're going to talk about your life moving forward in just a few, but I wanted to talk to you mainly about, like, this show because when the original iteration of The Hills, which was a juggernaut in reality TV, it's an institution in reality TV, was airing, you were super young, 10 years old, so you never got to experience that iteration. But coming on to this new reboot, what has filming been like for you and what's the environment been and what's this experience been for you? I think... More than anything, I was, I was definitely nervous at first to, Why? to, I mean, just because I, I've, I've, I'm a very open person, honest okay. person. Just if, if I, if you're my friend, I'm, you're gonna know things about my life, you're gonna get to experience me in ways that no one has, and in this, like, the audience is one of my friends. Like they're the camera on the wall. Like they're there at me <laughs> experiencing my, for me experiencing my my real life, and that made me nervous just because. You know, you always go through those things like, oh, are people going to like me and this and that? And then eventually that all kind of goes away and you're like, you know what? People are just going to have to deal with it. So, um, you know, whether they like me, whether they like me or not, I'm going to be honest and and try to give them a good show and show them what my life is like. I love that. I mean, you have very famous parents, so you know what it's like to be in that world. You kind of grew up in that world. So mm-hmm. it's, it was very eye opening for me to hear that you're a very private person. And I think that comes across on camera. Now, when I opened up, I had said that you are the new resident heartthrob of the Hills. And the fans have spoken, man. The fans have spoken. You are the new, uh, what they're comparing, the new Brody Jenner. You know, he's a good friend of yours. Is that that an honor to be called the new Brody Jenner? See, I know him very personally, so (laughs) to say that I'm the new Brody Jenner makes me laugh. Um, But I definitely uh, appreciate all the love that I've been getting. Like, yeah, bro, I get like... 400, 500 DMs a day about this shit. And they say what? We're, we're live. I don't know if I should say. Um, no, but it's serious. I really appreciate I, I didn't know that people would um, would really, like, take to me and, and like me and identify with my story. And, you know, it's, how, what I was surprised about is how many people are messaging me and uh, talking about how, um, that, like, that they admire that I'm sober. So that was one of the things that I was more shocked about. Um, that I Why was were like, you wow. shocked? Uh, I, I, I was, I, and I agree with the people who are, are DMing you because the hills in the past, we've seen a lot of alcohol flow. Um, you're very young, 22 years old, but why were you, why were you shocked that, that, that they were surprised you were sober? No, I, not so surprised. I was just surprised the, the positive kind of reinforcement that people are giving me. Like, keep doing your thing, you know, like, like it's just insane. Like, it's hard for me to think about mm-hmm. because people... The most of the messages are you're so young, like it's so admirable, and this and that. I feel like I'm a 50 year old person just because of you know, like I, I feel like I've lived this crazy life uh, that no other 23 year old kid has lived on the planet, um, or at least grown up like that. Uh, so I don't know. It's it's just nice to hear things like that, things you work really hard for, and 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 for people to appreciate them is a big deal for me. And I, it, I appreciate that more than people just saying, oh, he's the the heartthrob, you know, like yeah. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. You have this focus about you that's very impressive. I know we were talking before we went on air that, you know, I'm glad that MTV is showing that about yourself because mm. you're unapologetic in the fact that you're focused. You have a career. You have goals that you want to, to ascertain, you want to achieve. Who instilled that in you? Where does that come from? I think more than anything that comes from my mom and my dad, too. My, I mean, my dad's worked so hard for everything he has. But, you know, my mom growing up, she was a single mom. She had two kids. And she was able to do everything on the planet while still maintaining a relationship with me and my brother. And we never had a nanny. We never had this. Like, she was at all of our baseball games, practices, everything. And I was just like, wow. Like, if she can do that, 
I can do th like you know like the things that I'm doing aren't aren't n are nothing compared to that. So, and I think that's how we look at all of our parents too. I mean, like that's why so many people kind of aspire to be certain ways. Um, I never wanted to be my parents though. I kind of wanted to make myself into my own being, and that's why you know I went I went to I went to Canada to go to high school and and kind of get my own identity and come back. And I wanted to make a name for myself. I wanted to be the entertainer, entertainer I've always wanted to be, whether that was acting or um, just, you know, any, just make people laugh, make people think, share my story, share other people's stories. That's all I wanted to do ever. And so, like, you know, there's a lot of distractions in life, but I feel like I, at a young age, I realized what I really, really wanted to do and that it's clear for me. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't realize that yet. Right, exactly. Yeah. You're very fortunate at a young age to come to, to have that realization. Getting back to the show, you openly say you're not, you're not about the drama, but we're seeing a lot of drama between Brody and Spencer. Mm -hmm. Those two were thick as thieves, brothers. I mean, you could, and for a lot of, for many seasons on the hills, you couldn't have Spencer without Brody. And now they're kind of at odds. Do you think that they will ever see eye to eye and, and you know, rekindle that friendship? I mean, look, I constantly root for these guys to be friends again. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm always in the middle of it. And I don't know, it's been a long time since they've been friends. They constantly battle. I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's definitely tough to say. You know, I would definitely love for it to happen. But, I mean, at the same time, like, it's, like, it's not looking that great, to right. be honest. Um, you know, but I, I love both those guys. Even though Spencer, for some reason, just blocks me now. Let's talk about then, that yeah. because that that was the block heard around the world. I mean, putting a screen recording of him blocking you on Instagram. What was the reason behind that? We need to know. Spill that tea. You tell me. You probably know more than I do. I have no. I've been texting him. First off, my number's blocked too. So I he's can't, not responding. I, I can't even text. No, my text won't go through. Wow. So it's like. It's just funny, man. Like I, I mean, like I don't know what he's doing, really. Like Last I think, week I think it's because so cool I went though. on his sister's podcast. Okay. Like just for going on his sister's podcast. Wow. That's how bad their relationship is. That's insane. So you're you're speculating that because so there so in real life as as we're coming to tape now, Spencer and Stephanie are still at odds and one hundred percent. It's okay. like so I'm like caught in the middle of all this like old drama it drives me nuts wow wow and, yeah. and he's not responding have you tried reaching out to him personally going over to probably meeting up with him somewhere maybe popping up i mean no not really because i'm not trying to like i mean it's just like i mean you can't really even say anything about it, it just seems so dumb to me like i'm not to, like like how i am i'm very i'm like a i'm a very unapologetic person when i do something i do it for a reason that's what i did I don't like. I don't do any. I don't. I'm not being shady. I'm not going at him. No one's seen me go at him, so I feel like him doing that is just a, like a dramatic overreaction to get attention. So uh, I, f I don't know. I mean, dude, I got I got bigger things. Bigger things, right? Bigger, bigger things to deal with. You know, I'm, I'm, I got a career. You know, my another show of mine comes out next week. Um, I have another project. I'll be going to New York to film. Um, and you know, I just don't have time for Spencer blocking me. Right. And me trying to drive over to his house and deal with it. Point blank period. Yeah, exactly. This show, this season, as it moves on, Brandon, we're seeing drama between Justin Bobby, Stephanie, and yeah. Audrina. First question a lot of fans want to know, do you think Justin and Stephanie are hooking up and are, and are a thing? You know, I just, I was talking about this to someone in the other room, and everyone, it's so funny because I wasn't in Vegas when all this crazy <laughs> went down. But I remember her, like, I think one of my friends told me, like, Michael Utzinger, or I think, I don't know if it was Brody or somebody, that they snuck off together somewhere, Spencer, no, sorry, um, Justin and Stephanie. At the and end I, of the episode. Yeah, and I honestly thought they were, were, were hooking up. So I have no idea what the is happening. Got to it. Be, I have no idea what happened, what's happening. Um, like, it's just, I don't know, Stephanie seems like, she would do it. So, and so does Justin. Like, it's just, because Justin now, he seems like he's just not into Audrina. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Well, yeah. neither do we. That's, yeah, we're, we're, I, trying, I we're trying to get to the bottom of it as well. I don't know what he's doing either. Like, it's so insane to me. I'm watching and I'm like, what is he doing? You know, like, I'm really trying to figure it out. Well, from last week's episode, if, if, if 
you recall, he had an opportunity to squash the the back and forth between Stephanie and Audrina. He could have chimed in and been like, hey, ladies, this is what's, this is what's going on. And some people feel that he is pitting two women against each other. I mean, that's, that's, it's, t it's tough. It's tough. I, it's tough because I don't know what his motives are. Honestly, yeah. like I've had many talks. You're not his I've, had, I've had many talks with Justin and I can't get a read on him. You know, so I don't know if he's pitting two girls against each other. I don't know if he genuinely just doesn't care. I don't know if he genuinely doesn't even just not know what he's doing. Yeah. But I mean, he's not the kind of guy that just doesn't know what he's doing. He knows. He always got a plan. So. Well, okay. I don't know. Well, there it is. Well, you know, let's move on to more positive news. Congratulations yeah. on a season two. Thank you so much. I appreciate awesome it. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And you are busy. Busy, not only as a model, but as an actor. You mentioned that you have a bunch of projects coming up. On the show, we're hearing about you shooting in Atlanta. Yeah. What sh can you tell us finally what that show is? Because you, re you really didn't, didn't open up about it on the show or in the recent episodes. Yeah, so um, it's funny, actually. Um, so it's called Tales. On BET. Yeah, on BET. And directed by Irv Gotti. I play opposite um, Bella Thorne in an episode where it's about the song Exo Tour Life by Lil Uzi Vert. And it tells a story about drug addiction, suicide. I mean, it's a very, very heavy um, topic. But, um, you know, it, it, it's something that was actually really close to me. And I read the script. I was like, I didn't expect it to be this intense. You know, and I get to, I get to go and do a lot of things that were uh, very, very um, tough for me as a, care, as a person, as an actor. It's a great, I, I'm really proud of it. And it comes out next week. And I'm excited to see it because I haven't even seen it yet. I only remember going through this experience and, and being in Atlanta when it was absolutely freezing shooting this project. Um, and I love it. I loved Atlanta. I loved to um, get to work with Bella. That was, like, daunting for me. You, had, you mentioned the universe, how funny it yeah. was for you two coming back together. You know, yeah. you, guys had a, you guys had a relationship. She's been in the news lately being very re revealing about what's going on in her life coming out as pansexual. Mm -hmm. Then today she talked about her relationship with her mother and what she's gone through being a child actress. Have you talked to Bella about those sort of things and how is she doing? Um, I messaged her the other day and I was like, you have balls. You know, like I, was, I was telling her, I was like, you seriously have some balls that I respect because, you know, you're doing stuff that I don't think I could do. I don't think I could be as open as she is. She's really being really brave. But, um, and I admire her for that. Um, but I have, you know, I, I don't like when people are going through things in the public to, you know, ask them about it or do anything like that. You know, I don't want to bring it back up or she's obviously going through a lot. Yeah. So I don't, you know, don't want to bug her with that. And, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, but I was really excited. I got to work with her and she was, I mean, she brought the best out of me. It was, it, it was funny. It was definitely funny to get to do it again. And, and yeah, and I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm busy. I'm going, I'm, and I'm going to New York soon to uh, start shooting this other project, um, which I'm very excited about, which I can't really talk about, oh, but I'm on. super excited. You so were I supposed keep, to give I me the exclusive, I, Brandon. So I keep talking about it, but I, I really can't. But I'm very, but you'll, you'll hear about it soon, so I'm really excited. We're excited for you. Uh, again, watching this season of The Hills, it is refreshing to see someone so young, 23 years old, so mm -hmm. focused, knowing what they want. Do you think that people are getting a fuller scope of Brandon Thomas Lee on this, on this reboot of The Hills. And is there something you want the audience to know about who you are as the man you are now? I think what people are getting from me more on this show than anything, um, this is an opportunity for me to kind of show people that, look, I did grow up with famous parents. I did have a lot of pressure on me growing up to be this certain guy. And, and, and I want to prove, you know, not, not to prove, I want to prove myself um, by working hard, showing people how hard I've worked over the years, my accomplishments. You know, I'm 23 years old. I have my own house. and Which is beautiful, by the way. Yeah, thank you so much. I've worked very hard on that. Um, and, you know, I've just been, I've done everything under the sun to be able to live my own life separate from my family um, and to be my own person. And everything I've done in my life has been geared toward that. Um, obviously, I'm blessed to be able to do what I love to do that. But I've done things over my life, too. I've hustled. I've done different things to kind of get to where I am, to where I can be my own person. And, you know, I'm, I was finally at the point in my life where I was ready to show everyone that, that and, like, a perfect timing. And, um, you know, I'm really happy with the way everyone's seeing me on the show and kind of realizing, like, that, oh, this kid doesn't f around. Yeah. So 
I was very, very happy with, with everything on the show and, and kind of, um, I think more than anything, I just want people to know that, you know, I'm here to stick around. I'm here to stay. Um, I'm working hard every day on different, trying to do different things. I just want to be the best entertainer I can be and, and kind of show people um, my versatility, really. And just entertain people at the end of the day. I don't care what people think of me. I just want people to laugh and have fun or cry or feel something, you know, so, you know. I think you're doing all that. Yeah. I think, I think, I think, I think Thank you're you. doing a pretty good job, Brandon. Oh, man, again, congratulations on, on this season of The Hills. Thank you so much. Season two of The Hills. And you guys can catch him on The Hills New Beginnings Monday nights on MTV. And you're definitely going to come back and give us exclusive on your next project. 100%. Boom. Boom.